All right. Well, I kind of sat there for too long, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, had someone complaining about me making my squad too early. Anyways, uh, welcome back to another Wednesday night operation. Tonight's operation is going to be Power Play Part 2. I was not present for Part 1, so I have no idea what's going on. That's a lie. I do have an opduc. I am also uh, co-streaming with Phoenix here, who is going to be the first co-stream I've had in, what, a year now, probably? Say hi. Hey, Killer. Happy to be here. Should be a good one. <laughs> All right. Well... Now we've got that awkwardness out of the way, let's go on over to the commands for round one. For the calf side, or, uh, you know, Canadians, we have command being Schmitty, with his two eyes being Alpha. For other cells is Matt, Russ, uh, Colty, and Raggy. Uh, who's uh, commanded for the militia, or, yeah, the militia side tonight? On the militia side, we have command Rosa, two IC Silas. Today, they're being supported by SLs Joe, Bao, Zaki, and Utopian. Cool, cool. It's going to be interesting. Rosa's been, at least on Wednesdays, I don't know about the weekends, been uh, kind of missing from a lot of the operations. Well, let's move on over to the uh, loadouts for the Canadian side. We have infantry squad levels going to be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, two LATs, two medics, platoon armory. Optionally, is going to have crewmen as needed if someone, if they choose the helicopter option, if they have someone to actually fly said helicopter. But Plutoon Armory consists of two hats, two MGs, and crewmen as needed, as stated. Uh, vehicles, we have one trans truck, two Lodgy trucks with zero ammo and zero build. I'm assuming those are just transport. And one, once again, one UH-60M helicopter, if they choose that option. Uh... But uh, aside from that, they have no FOB and logistics and no support. Moving on over to the militia side, if you could, please. Yeah, so in order to support the militia if their ambush failed in, in power play one, uh, they are going to rate two FTLs and a medic. And at their disposal as a platoon, they also have two ARs, two LATs, as well as two sappers. Uh, they do get a small amount of build here with a Lodgy truck um, to build up a hunter camp as well as some roadblocks. It looks like they're going to be attempting to uh, conduct perhaps a secondary ambush and uh, and some skirmish tactics here today. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Hmm. All right, let's bring y'all in. Yeah, we're going to be going live here. Oh, there we go. And we are live for round one. All right, let's do this. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done uh, power plays. Do we do multi-rounds for uh, power plays? That is a great question. We are going to find out. Oh no. <laughs> uh, any Evolution clue where the uh, militia side is right now? Absolutely. So the militia actually has three separate objectives that they're responsible for achieving today. Uh, the first is they need to be defending a massive bridge on the east. Uh, unfortunately, the militia have successfully dug in explosives into the bridge in order to deter enemy forces from crossing it. The unfortunate part being that they forgot their detonators. So they are responsible for defending this bridge until the detonators have arrived. Uh, that's going to be quite the task as the northern side does have a lot of high ground that the Canadians could use. Uh, over to the west, they have a roadblock in place over in, let's call that Juliet 11-7. Uh, looks like they uh, either have successfully, successfully already ambushed someone or they are using the wreckage of a previous ambush. So they have hmm. one roadblock set up there. And last but not least, it looks like they have one alternative objective uh, deeper to the west in Fox 10, in which they're going to be responsible for uh, perhaps guarding some trenches in a secondary roadblock. Although at this time, no militia appear to be defending that objective. We'll see if that goes into play later on. I see your chopper out there. Look at it go. All right. I'm going to find out how far my FPS can drop on this map. I'm honestly debating whether or not I should attempt to try and do a uh, 
dual system for streaming. To try and shunt some of the uh, processing off my main system. This is going to be an interesting problem. So Rose's 2IC has actually just spotted the Canadian Hilo uh, in Fox 13. He was able to call that out successfully to relay that to their command, Rosa. At this time, I don't know if that Canadian helicopter dismounted any troops there or if it was a feigned insert. Let's find out. It is an empty helo. They did drop off. They dropped off in G13. That's going to be Alpha's crew. And they're going to be coming in from the west. Uh, let's see here, southwest. And they're going to be coming in on the bridge. Of, uh, FTL bags, or is it completely no? You can. Got it. A lot of room to navigate. A lot of terrain to to shift up their uh, their vector of approach. So even though the oh, militia yeah. are aware of their presence, they have a lot of options at their disposal. Uh, we are. Oh no, they've got this uh, squad five of the militia side down here. Just uh, northeast of them, they could potentially run into. But then again, you've you just got a whole clump of them down here. So until they spread out or find their their resting positions, that's going to be hard to tell. Uh, not sure what the plan is for Squad Five Seven Two of the uh, calf side. Yeah, Dakum, we're gonna have to wait 30 seconds for the uh, guys in the rear. <laughs> Commands to we have eyes on bridge, no sign of movements. Copy. Militia Two Squad 1 at the SL position. Utopian just called out enemy infantry contact to his north 200 meters. Uh, which is just about exactly accurate. Looks like he has eyes on squad seven squad for the seven? Canadians, which would be Matt Honcho. Oh, that is unfortunate. Also, someone's got some fantastic eyes to see that. Well, no, they're they're a lot closer than I thought they were. Um, yeah, about 250, 300 meters out. Looks like he had some well-placed uh, LPs for sure. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Ah, uh, you're looking up there. Let's go and check. Aerial one inbound to Atlantic point two. ETA three minutes. Now, Alkaline in squad one has, looks like he has eyes on contact to his northwest. And he's moving out in the open, perhaps just too far Joe. out. Yeah, he just came down the hill. Uh, let's see, anyone else up here? Nine sign of enemies. More yeah, you got Matt Honcho and a couple of others that are going to be crossing the open. You said Kilo 149. Or, say that again, sorry. But I think that one that you just saw was Apocalypse Joe. Right, Kilo, then He's now out. on top of the rocks. Should be in clear view. South side of the bridge, Kilo 11. Four six, kilo eleven four six, kilo eleven four five as well. Ten four. They're putting down stakes and all types of stuff. Are we free to open fire? Negative. Conceal your positions for now. Is that a uh, ND? I think that might have been a Canadian ND to the northeast of Squad 1. Speaking of Squad 1, they have continued eyes on the Canadian infantry moving to the north. Canadians moving into high ground. Uh, starting to make Squad 1 a little bit concerned. Ah, and that's shots fired from Canadian. Nope, sorry, from Militia. Militia yeah. beginning to engage Canadians to their northwest. 
on Mike and me. And we've got contact between uh, Fulcrum and Matt's group here. Across the road. Segment is advised. Uh, General Pilot Flyboy has identified one uh, uh, barrier roadblock just to the south of the major bridge. So Militia command just called for squad one to start a, a uh, tactical retreat. Let's say they're concerned about overwhelming three forces on the high ground. Three story building, kilo 1145. All right. Let's see here, where is Second squad one at? Oh, okay, there one's up here on the hill. Three, your objective is kilo 1145, a three story building. That's where they're held up. Solid copy. Solid copy. Two, seven, and five. Do you hear these gunshots to your west? Not, not much. They sound pretty far away, frankly. I'm having my guys scan the ridge, though. Happy. Two seven and five. I need you to make as much noise on the north side as possible. Start pushing towards that bridge now, please. Uh, it looks like we've got really Three close combat here going on. Yeah, copy. Uh, five between the Canadian and Bravo, militia. Whatever's two, left of. All squads is two kilo ten. Seven on the north side of the bridge. Fire team size. Uh, didn't finish that thought. Sorry about that. Uh, Zaki's crew going downhill. Death squad kilo two. Nine, squad five, four. Kilo nine, yeah, squad four bounding out of contact within 15 meters of the enemy. I think at one point it might have even been closer than that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Way closer. Uh, pop one coming down the hill. Oh, we got the helicopter crossing right over them, too. That's just begging for a lat shot in the belly. Five is taking close contact to our southwest, below us on the ridge. That might be the death of us. Two to seven. Or seven two. Hey, do you, have, do you have enemy contact? Those Canadian forces that were inserted in the west are now actually within, uh, we're being engaged I would say, within 30 meters of the remnants of Squad 5, or the, rather the western forces of Squad 5. Copy, just know you have enemies close. Squad Kilo 5 of SL just successfully called him out as well. Squad 5, oh are man. Yeah. I'm assuming they're way back there. Because I don't see them on the bridge area. Yep, they're uh. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see them. Yep. Now. I had to get in view of range of them. They're back there where uh. Squad four of the calf crew had dropped in. They're kind of missing both squad three and four of the calf. Militia and Canadian forces have each lost one. It looks like on this western front. Hmm. Canadian forces successfully marked by red smoke. A lot of uh, fire going downhill, but it looks like the calf's holding on Nacho to the uh, shot at not. Yeah, Nacho just went down in the west as well. Canadians Good holding me. their ground and engaging militia as they fall back. That's a pretty tough push. We're in the open. They have a good beat on us. And it looks like the Canadian side is having some difficulties pushing downhill. Command 2. Making cross on river, south side. South side. <clears throat> Copy. Command to three. Go for three. Are you pushing towards your fire team? Yeah, I'm pushing south. Copy.
Can we be getting our approach? Do you want us holding back to try to coordinate with three, or do you want me to kind of get in there quick and first? Squad 5 for the militia Silas, successfully calling out Canadian positions within 50 meters. I think what he might not know is that Squad 3 is now inserted for the Canadians from the north. It's like his oh, uh, yeah. counterclockwise rotation might be blocked by those guys. south of bridge, like K1142. Yeah, there is a lot of point of contact going on. And have they even called or realized that squad force coming in from their uh, south right now? I have not yet heard anything about infantry forces to their southeast. It seems like they're predominantly preoccupied about contact north as well as west. Yeah, Alpha is making major headway into the back lines on the uh, INS right now. Or, well, not INS, militia. My mind is everywhere. for helicopter circling is they're trying to use it as a scouting system to identify uh, militia forces and where they are. That is risky and that is low too. About to have seven repeat kilo ten two seven below the hill from you. Silas and the remnants of squad five in contact now with the remnants uh, of the Canadians who have now crossed the river. Looks like Silas successfully caught them while they crossed the road. I'm not sure if Silas has enough guys left alive though to be able to handle both this squad as well as the remnants of the other one. Yeah, that's he's getting torn apart. We've also got Alpha and Kerr pushing up over on the southeast, are about to come in contact with the militia forces. Successful and LAD they've opened up. Uh, looks like TSQ E2 has been taken out by Zahi. Or Zahi. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Oh well. Uh, could have been Nightmare actually. He's over here. And down goes Army Sold Nightmare. Also spots someone uphill from him. I think he's slightly spotted. Command three. No, I don't know who he shot at. Militia now calling out that they are being engaged on point proper from the southeast. Seems to have resulted in a little bit of confusion in comms. I don't think anyone was expecting attacks from the south. Yeah, no, that's definitely is just. I'm looking at the uh, militia forces and they're sluggishly replying to this. I'm going to say uh, Alpha did a good push there from the uh, west side and going over to southern, or southeastern. Scottish like a sniper with his LAT kit. I think that's his third successful elimination of Canadian forces with that thing. Ooh, uh, are we looking at the new Bartok? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold judgment on that one. <laughs> Uh, that would have been good. I will say though that this uh, this intersection is littered with Canadian bodies, and it is because of this man. Oh yeah, no, definitely. A nicely pla placed uh, lat is just gonna it's gonna wreck havoc. And not to mention it's gonna make no one want to cross the open. Go collect with two. We'll we'll defend here on this intersection. It's pretty. It's pretty. Copy. Two. I need to get mid to four. I have a root block ahead, you want clear it? Ahead. Yeah, go ahead and clear it. And then I need you to get to four, please. Looks like I've missed it, but Militia Command has gone down. Looks like Silas and uh, Bow are now successfully uh, coordinating their counter assault. We're still Silas being we're responsible for the west and, and perhaps Bow being responsible for the Copy southeast. Four. That's interesting. Five. I didn't see him go down either. So then again, I'm definitely four. being very scatterbrained uh, at the moment, so. I haven't noticed a lot of things. Northwest of bridge, 
as well. uh, to the southwest. Looks like Oddball's three man here is going to try and push the uh, eastern grenade. side of the bridge. Try and push up to it. I don't know how well this is going to work. He has managed to take out one or two people in this small push. Yeah, these forces uh, are currently like... evenly matched in numbers. Um, perhaps the Canadians have the high ground, but militia are doing a good job of holding this bridge with positions both on the south and on the north. Yeah, and slowly though, I'm looking at the Canadian forces, they're slowly weeding out the uh, stragglers for the militia side, especially on the uh, southern side of the river over here on the bridge. You're running into contact, command. Copy. I believe the CAF are using the uh, the ridge line on the northern side of the river as a fantastic uh, position to provide suppressing fire. They absolutely are. I'm watching Nashville right now doing his best to hold eastern security while taking indirect fire from the north. We're taking close contact, but indirect rifle fire, I should say. Looks like Canadians don't know exactly where the enemy is. They're just laying the height. Oh yeah. Nashville goes down to Bob Ross. Nashville unfortunately Ooh. caught in a meat grinder between contact to his north and his east. Two, are you clearing that? Uh, that is unfortunate. Roadblock out. Uh, looks like Bow's now the only militia force left on the. Area one is hit. We're going down. Site uh, southern of the bridge. He is now the only militia man. Thank you for your service. Uh, well, only one in the building. Uh, he's still got. Uh, was that Lemon Sledge and Joe Violence in the forest above him? With Han Dihun? Yeah, he's got, he's got friends in high places, you might say. Uh, high places, and they've got... Who is that coming up on their rear? DJ Russ, uh, Liberal Pundin, and Koba. Pushing up on those uh, friends in high places. Lemon Sledge taken out. Uh, I believe that was Russ got him. Down goes Han Dihun. Taken out possibly by Liberal. Liberal has been on fire for the last few uh, ops. Squad 4's SL has just gone down. James taking over. Hopping on the comms, letting the rest of the command structure know that they're taking close contact to his east as well as his north. Yeah. Quantum's. Let's see here. We've got Quantum Oddball and Culty are. So, oh, I spoke too soon. Oddball taken out by James ZVBD. Wait, it's V D B. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's quickly revenged by Quantum. Yep, very quickly. Who's that too? I think that looks like the militia completely pushed off the northeastern side of the uh, the bridge here. Oh yeah, there is no one left over there. Yeah, a few on the northwest side. I can get to the bridge just to. Happy, we're trying to engage guys right now. We just took out. Darktown getting uh, smoked by an LAT though, from where I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea where it's coming from. Hey, if anyone is looking for our links, you can type in exclamation mark uh, Discord uh, and Squad Ops. Or is it Ops? I think it's Squad Ops. Uh, in chat, all together. One or the other commands, and it should provide you the links to our Discord and our website. If you can, just start slowly pushing. Please. Copy. Two, we need to start pushing. Enemy contact on me. Can't push. Can't push. Militia FTL shook heart for squad one. Getting his guys to hold what they got. He knows that the Canadians have to come secure this bridge. So he's instructing them to hold what they have. Let the enemy make the mistake. See if they will draw him into the open. Oh yeah, Liberal over here doing some uphill fighting here. Shooting at Joe Violence. Joe Violence is not having a good day here. Oh, nade downhill. It's short though. Good. 
Liberal gets pegged. I think that was uh, bus driver man Stan up there on the hilltop. Yeah, militia on the northern side of the bridge now having to contend with contact northeast as well as southeast. They have Canadians engaging them from across the river from what used to be a friendly held position. Yeah, there is no friendlies there anymore. Well, okay, that's a lie. There are some friendlies, but they're too preoccupied at this point. How is the contact near you? Pretty light. We're fighting guys across the bridge straight north. And it looks like Squad 4 has finally lost all of its command structure, and we are left with uh, whatever is there. Makes for an interesting uh, situational brief. Bravo team is currently pursuing them. We can continue to move and avoid it if we need to. If we need to. If you can start continue pushing towards four, seven and five. I need you to uh, continue making, uh, continue engaging the contacts on the north side of the bridge. No habit. This is not a uh, a team v. Well, I mean, yes, it is a team v. Team type game, but uh, no, this is not a tournament. This is a uh, one life operation, and this is a operation that is in a series of operations called Power Play. No tournaments here. We don't do that. Too much stress. Remnants of Squad 3 successfully trying to bound out of contact. Oh, taking contact while they're on the move, though. The train yeah. they're fighting in here is absolutely gnarly. It's like a swamp built into, into a mountain range. Yeah, it's not the most ideal to try and get away from the enemy. It's great for going in, not so much getting out. Yeah, and uh, let's see here. What is that, Squad 3? Copy, Squad no. 7. Squad 2. Yeah, Squad 3, the th four-man to the west, is about to run into uh, Squad run in 2 of the calf side. So we're about to see how this engagement goes. Reasonably quickly, there is an element between you and me. Fighting. Well, I mean, there is some structure habit. There is some structure we generally do at the beginning. Um, Ops members are usually the ones in control, uh, but as the operation goes along, if they die, the command gets handed down to them. But generally, at that point, it's the mission's already gone foobar <laughs> if they've gotten that far. But no, this is just your friendly, uh, structured operation. And, uh, anyone can join as long as you take our SOT basics. Ooh, Slinger taken out by, uh, rather Scottish Chap and Scottish Chap taken out by real Proxius. Or Prox. I'm just gonna call him real. It's real. I'm s I'm just slowly giving up on names, Phoenix. Can we uh enforce your uh naming scheme? Yes. We really should. Um, <laughs> perhaps perhaps in a future edition of ops, we'll, uh, we'll be able to march straight on that for now. All are welcome. Does that mean I have to go down to uh, killer instead of killer man time? Just killer. Just like stalker. No. Ooh, Schmitty command for the calf side is gone. Joe Violence taking him out. We are now looking for the next one. Two I C should have been Alpha. I think Alpha is also down. So that's going to go down the list. Uh, that didn't... Oh wow, Londarts is in command now. No wait. Copy, you are commander. Congratulations. Copy. Bunch of forces in the northwest side of the bridge get pushed off of what was previously a really good position they had. I think unfortunately they're just they're up against overwhelming numbers here. The Canadians decide they want to the bridge. Squad 5, like the squad you, 5 uh, Colty from yep, these guys with the support of Squad 7 up on the ridge. Yep, right. speaking of Colty, Colty is now uh, command. Congratulations, Colty. Battlefield yep. <laughs> Good luck. 
Do not envy that position. Do you mind pushing that? I just got command. Speaking of difficulty, here he is. Slow push. And already acting like Fair. command, he is uh, sending sorry, out two, the pawns. Uh, we that, uh, body pay might be five, I mean, my valued I, I team members. Copy, thank you. We are going to try to secure uh, the northern side of the bridge. Oh, good push out though. DT Crave just got a uh, McDavin downhill. Sadly, it doesn't look like he saw Utopian. Still down here hiding in a bush. Well, that's Alkaline okay. successfully just dropped, uh, I believe his name was Cabbage, whose body is now rolling down the hill. Ooh. That is, uh, that is some rough terrain to die on there, Cabbage. Actually, does anyone know if, uh, Alpha died to an explosion? Do we have any clue who he died to? Nah, doesn't look like it. Oh well. This is interesting dynamic we've got going on here. Uh, we've got the calf command sitting here on one side of the rock, and we've got alkaline on the other side. Oh, here goes Colty forgetting his command. And Colty is down. Down to buy alkaline. He was doing so, so well delegating those riflemen. And oh, yeah, he totally. Took, he took the turn himself. Who's going to be next, command? Uh, let's see here. Next would be Raggy. Is Raggy still alive? I don't think Raggy's still alive. You know, shout out to Bao, who is uh, taking taking cover inside the compound, successfully navigating the, uh, the trials of command, delegating to his SLs who are still alive in the field, of which I think he... Well, oh, he's, no. he's actually... Fortunately, he only has one. He only has one left. He did have three before, though. Yeah, but he's actually managed to uh, regroup with some people, too. Our objective is to push in and yes, rallying on the leader is a uh, tale as old as time. Uh, and it looks like we have a call-out for a uh, directive, which was... In my chat window. There it is. Uh, Calf must secure the roadblock located at Kilo 1144. Actually, I'm just going to, it's not Kilo anymore, I'm just going to call it Karma. Oh, okay. I don't think we're allowed to rename the, the Fnatic alphabet. I don't know I'm doing it. Power. It is done. Oh, who just shot that dirty lat into the building? Who did that? It was Frost. Frost over here just being mean with the lat tube. Shooting it right in the front door. I don't think. Yeah, he actually did. He took out Bow, did he? Yeah, Bow is down. Oh, that's brutal. That is a hard way to go. Taken out by an explosion. Well, Alpha didn't get blown up, but Bow did. That's a good trade off. Canadians have successfully surrounded the. Uh, Yep. Their, uh, their final objective here. They still have a handful of forces Thank north you. of the bridge. That would be a tough push, Squad but four, so there's right not that many militia left to defend it. Right? Uh, flicker. Flicker, flicker, flicker. Why are you in the tower? Oh, more explosions. Uh, looks like we just had uh, destroyed blades. Hive TTV, you gonna learn today or one. Basically, fighting off a little bit of CQB. Just the Canadians attempt to push into the building. Apparently one, no, it looks like. Well, you can still do CQB with just one. It's just you'll never have anyone to come in after you once you get down. That is true. Flicker from the tower yelling at the Canadians too, and I quote, "Please go away." <laughs> they do not seem to be able to hear him over their gunfire, unfortunately slaughtering his friends. Uh, I really wish we had the audio set up, that would have been fantastic. Albeit, there's no chance that I would probably would have had your stream up uh, for that specific thing. What's going on here? Bob Ross is having a freak breached the building, dynamic entry where they were able to draw his aggro in one direction while a friendly Canadian on the opposite side breached. Really well done by the Canadians. Oh, Bob Ross and uh, King taken out by, I think that was Flicker shot him from up top. Flicker putting his rifle where his mouth is, always good to see. 
He asked, them to go, he asked them to go away nicely and they did not listen. Oh, there goes Frost. Frost is going up the staircase. Frost, this is a rough place, sir. Oh, no. Oh, Flicker has got the dirty corner here. This is just... This is going to be a death pit. There is... We didn't call it out earlier. Canadians landed their helo on the road just west of the objective. Looks like the helo might have had some maintenance problems. I actually don't have eyes on the pilot either. Yeah, no, it is down, or they've just decided to pull him in. He is an active player. No point in having the helo up if there's no more calves to or uh, enemies to uh, spot. I know that doesn't follow the industry is going to be okay with just abandoning a helo, but um, eh, it'll be fine. Shoot, shoot a couple bullets into the gas tank. We'll just say it, it uh, happened way into the battle. trying to take some pot shots at a uh, flicker doesn't look like anyone else wants to take a uh, shot at climbing those staircase never mind I take the back lawns pushing up to the building door maybe pushing it do we have any orders to get up there horse count for both teams looks almost identical right now both teams having lost the same number of people yeah, like I keep the forgetting there's a little tighter, but Canadians have control of the bridge. Yeah, I keep forgetting there's a one, two, three, three militia force across the river. I don't know what they're doing. Flicker's getting trying to take out Koba. Koba's trying to get up the staircase. I didn't even notice that. Where are you? You up there as well? Uh, Bao asks a very important question that I didn't notice earlier, uh, which is, how many millions of dollars is leaving a calf heli in the middle of the road? This is 2 for 5 and 7. Contact across the river to your southeast. That's a good question. I'm going to say 200 million, but you know what the price of the player experience is? Yeah. Oh, what on earth was that? Someone just pegged the side of the building with a lat? Looks like the remnants of the Canadian forces on the north are going to now attempt to cross the bridge. Looks like there are still... You know what? There are actually five... Malicious. Yeah, on the was, northern side of the bridge. Yep, I just saw it. There's uh, on the east side we've got Sugarheart and uh, Dresden Destroyer, and on the west side we've got Alkaline Utopian and 61. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to walk back what I said earlier. Canadians do not have control of this bridge. Fairly nope. confident if they cross, the militia would handle them. And it looks like we've got contact Sugarheart down by uh, Apocalypse Joe, possibly. DT didn't look like he had a view on him. And Destroyer is currently doing the worst maneuver possible, which is crawling out in the open in the road. And he has managed to get into the bush line. Flicker has successfully been eliminated from the tower. Looks oh. like he might have taken a nade, perhaps a frag hitting one of the windows. Not Maybe a case a he's down for the count. Nah, that was too small. Yeah, definitely a nade. All right, so we get to focus on one particular area, and that's going to be on the northern side of the bridge. Now uh, we've got destroyer to the east, and Utopians. Nope, never mind. Destroyer is down by Apocalypse Joe, so that just leaves Utopian and his motley crew over to the uh, west side. Spike. I really don't know what that is. It cannot be streamed because it wasn't happening during uh, 
testing. Brief here. Calf has secured the roadblock. Calf must secure and hold the bridge. In other words, sick em, boys. Hunt down Utopian and his motley crew. Any uh, words coming from Utopian and his uh, two compadres? I'm listening for them, but so far, nothing. It looks like they're uh, they've given him an order to hold what they got. Looks like they're being absolute uh, swamp monsters right now. Are they in the so same it looks like Utopian. It looks like Utopian has received word from higher up that he's going to need to retake this bridge at all costs. Oh boy. Yeah, they're all on squad one, so uh, they're probably talking in uh, squad comms. That's okay, we can't hear them anyways. Looks like Apocalypse Joe and DT are continuously yeah, scanning and they're about right, to cross over to the west side of the, the bridge. bridge. So we're trying to secure this uh, southern side. I think we cleared out a compound here, best I can tell. Right, Radio appears to be. Uh, you guys in the west. Radio appears to be under the bridge, third pylon, middle pylon. Uh, right. Right. Well spotted. Are you able to get to it? We'll cover us while we get to it. I think we can move on to it. I can see it right in front of us. I'll cover you. Alright, thanks. Let's go. Militia forces looks like they have eyes on the Canadian SL5, perhaps underneath the bridge. Let's find out who this is. Looks like he's trying to line up a shot. Alkaline. Ooh, takes out DT. Trend fire is immediate. Alkaline taking some shots from definitely the opposite side of the bridge. Is now changed. The calf is secured, so now the militia must retake it. Looks like Utopian lost one. That oh, was 61. Nope, nope. Never mind. I take that back. He has moved up. That's interesting. 61 is located at now the straight north end of the bridge. Above the uh, Londars coming up behind him. 61 out in the open, turned around. Will he see lawn darts? No, he does not. 61 takes a small shot for the head and gets it. Salon's so out. Canadians and militia still skirmishing underneath the bridge. Uh, Canadians holding the ground beneath the bridge, militia holding the high ground to the northwest. Unless well, you're doing what they can with the limited manpower they got, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, how many? Actually, I guess I can check that. Uh, let's see, here we got one. 
two, three. Three Canadian left on field. So we are now even. Unless there's someone on the hill somewhere. I don't think so. 61's now gotten behind and is starting to take some pot shots. And he has taken out Poxlips Joe. Hey, would he have had an angle? Yes, he would have. Ooh, that is dirty. Dirty shot right there. 61's finding some good positionings to uh, slowly take out the calf forces. Did 61 kill the man who was under the bridge next to the radio? I think he did. Or did he kill him on the edge? Maybe Utopian. No, Alkaline probably got the one under the bridge. I, I think it was Alkaline from his position. Looked like he landed a shot. All right, Alkaline probably got the one on the bridge, and I think 61 got the the uh, other soldier that was on the ridge line south of the bridge, or next to the bridge. That's leaving Real as the only one up and alive now. Sixty one moving in. Sixty one trying to get a view on real. Can he do it? No, he's just gonna give up and toss the nade. Nade overshoots. Pulls Real's attention. Sixty one moving up even closer. Real making sure there's no one across the uh, water, keeping an eye on him. I don't think there's anyone over there for him to be shooting. He did give himself away, and that pop gave him away, and Real got him, and Real taken out by Alkaline, taken... Wow, okay. Well, that's GG for round one, maybe? Possibly? We'll find out here in a moment. Anyways, we'll be right back shortly. And we're back once more for uh, another round, and hopefully... Something different that isn't the uh, Canadians being mowed over in the last port last stretch. Um, so for round two, we have a command swap just like normal. So for the Canadian side, it is now commanded by Rosa with his two IC being or her two IC being uh, Silas, and for other cells being Joe, Bao, Zaki, and Utopian. How about for the militia side? So for the militia, we have Committee, who's going to be commanding. Supporting him as his 2IC is Alpha, and they have four SLs, those being Matt, Russ, Colty, and Reggie. All right, and we are going to go over the loadouts once more uh, for the Canadian side. And I'm going to pick up my tempo here. For the Canadian side, we have infantry squad levels. We one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, two LATs, two medics. Uh, Platoon armory consists of two hats, two MGs, and crewmen as needed if they choose the helicopter option. Vehicles consist of one trans truck, two luggy trucks with zero ammo, zero build, and one UH-60M if, once again, they choose to use the helicopter. No farm logistics and no support. How about for the militia side? Uh, today, it looks like the militia rate two FTLs and a medic per squad. They also have at their disposal two ARs, two LATs, and two sappers that they can distribute amongst their platoon. They also have a good amount of build that they can use in order to set up their roadblocks and hunter camps. Goody, 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 goody. I say goody, but there's this no difference from uh, round one, so this is just a recap for anyone that may or may not have been listening in round one. Uh... And we'll bring our views in, and I'll pop up a mini view for uh, Phoenix. He'll be looking at things. Sadly, we can't hear them. 
because I think the one they all have to take. Militia Command currently giving his ragtag band of militiamen their orders. I think Silas will stay in the helicopter, obviously. The same responsibilities as last round, in which the militia are going to be responsible for one, securing explosives onto the bridge and then standing by and defending the bridge. Two, setting up roadblocks to the west. And then three, certainly but not least, last but not least, holding on to their their E point being the Kilo 11 4 set of buildings. Oh. <laughs> oh, with that, we are now live. Hey! That's true. And we are live. We're going to follow the helicopter into its objective on my side. I'll switch stream view over to uh, Phoenix and s follow him. I can tell you right now on my stream, we see the militia are indeed loading up this lodge with explosives. Their intent is to use it as a vehicle right, for an IED. We're gonna wait for you up here. Yeah. Right. Be careful, there's a new bump. Well, hopefully we'll catch the big boom. Joy, that is not my reason for it. Just to catch the big boom. What? No, you don't... Okay, fine. Our objectives for views is, uh, yeah, different, I can tell. Koba is the individual who planted this IED. Here's to hoping he stays alive long enough to execute on it. Uh, also, we'll be timed out for those comments. Once again, we do not accept that type of speech in Twitch chat or really anywhere in our community. But if yeah, you we'll can't act like an adult, off of the main attack get Spire off the computer. Being in the helicopter and they'll get super yeah, focused children on, on computers is never that. a good idea in the first place no Squad 6 caught out enemy Elo landed in the town at Gulf 13. Make your man aware of it. Looks like that. Accurate. Might be pulling back here a bit. Accurate call. Six was definitely looking in the right direction when they called that one. Uh, does not look like Rose's plan here on the rear is gonna pan out too well. But honestly, let's face it, round one's team for CAF. Basically made that maneuver, and the fact that they're doing the exact same in this round is, uh... Three, it took a wrong turn. Should have been expected. And so on. What? Rosa took a wrong turn? They this did take a wrong turn. Nice Don't worry, though. It was only a slight wrong turn. And I don't think the calf are actually going to start moving until their forces are all in position. Any idea if the uh, militia force is planning on pushing? I think you're in the right spot. Negative on pushing. Right Definitely looks area. like militia have tightened their, uh, tightened their belt a little bit here. They've got a one fire no, team no, size no, element right holding way. their western flank, but the most majority of squad six has actually pulled it in to within 300 you're meters of their objective. Movement markers, it's like right? They're, uh, so they're yeah, going for a right tighter defense. Right At least in the south. There's a drop off mark right next to you. <laughs> Remember, Silas, the goal is that they are supposed to come try so to find you. Well, uh, if they have you good internet, they can pay me to move there. Oh, so I'm yep, saying, like, I can, I yep, can sounds good. Let me get my girlfriend up there. I can populate it. <laughs> yep, <laughs> sounds good. Not allowed to have one side conversation. <laughs> you, you said, you said we can't populate it. <laughs> I have no idea what this conversation is. I just came in halfway yeah. through it with Lemon Sludge, and something about his girlfriend and him could populate something. <laughs> And I'm just gonna leave it there. Discord server. They could populate a Discord server, children at home. Yeah, 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 totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go with it. 
there on the militia side, Squad 4 has successfully called out the three man element on Juliet 967. This would be Canadians holding the high ground on Overwatch. Oh, okay. I don't know if you've caught it in the west. Canadians yep. convoying yep. down the MSR yep. moving west to east. They, I hear I shots fired. Very, we very, are very following. Large, large, large I don't think I've got any calls yet for I shots fired. Toaster. And apparently someone is toaster. And we've got shots. Nightmare just lighting up the first truck in the convoy, taking out three, four, five. Skip Contact southeast. Across the fucking loop. Spread out. Well, we've come under fire in fucking Foxtrot 10. Canadians lobbing grenades and smokes to their east, hoping yeah, to disperse to the militia a little bit as they bound west into the forest. Yeah, definitely uh, good positioning for the militia side there, taking out a hot five soldiers for the calf. I can only wonder though, My guys are gonna try to fall back and doesn't look like the uh, militia forces are going to try yep. and screen yeah, we're coming to sweep from the, the south. Uh, helicopter so drop off. Get away from that shit. Won't be there soon. Man, we are too effective. It looks like the uh, the tactic the militia are employing in the west here is absolutely a hit and run. Canadians oh, have about two full squads worth of infantry here, minus who were killed in the point. contact, but the remnants of militia have actually pulled east to the village. Uh, we're gonna sit tight here until you guys can secure the area three. I ain't trying to poke my head up. Cop, cop. Looks like one of these Canadian trucks has been disabled. Right, just, uh, Absolutely missing a wheel. The other one appears have, uh, wedged on a lug. I don't think right. the Canadians will be attempting to rescue these vehicles. Man, do you ever look underneath these lodges? There's a lot of detail under here for no reason. I do not know. They got fuel lines. They got fuel not paying lines attention in to the uh, op around him is now observing the underbelly of a truck filter? and admiring the um, detail. On these, it's going to be. Killer, in the I think Bow's just hoping it's not the, the last thing he sees. Likely. <laughs> yes. Probably. No, no oil filter. Somewhere just between the trans and the engine. Yeah, they kind of don't have a trans either, so. Oh well. Yeah. All right. Do we have anyone else moving in for contact anywhere? Are we just three, is it? Golf eleven eight eight has contacts in a yellow building. No, it looks like Squad Three for the militia are the only ones currently, uh, currently in contact of any kind. Militia com staying active. The White Tower. Keeping First the guys also, yellow building. I do hear gunshots 11. out to the northeast, though, actually, now that I say that. Yeah, we've got callouts coming in now. See any enemies. Uh, oh, looks like we've got some shots being fired across the river into three. the forest. Fell back into the town. We have them confirmed in uh, some buildings up ahead southeast of you guys. Uh, we're moving to Boston. Copy that. Yep, sounds good. Alright, set up on this log. Uh, odds are, call me, as they uh, probably pulled back after the initial contact. That's honestly, if they stayed there, it would have been a fast way to uh, start losing forces. Alright, uh, command's advancing. Take a peek. Indeed, I think the enemies have fallen back. So let's let's get let's get moving again, folks. Pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off. I can tell that. Sadly, there's nothing in that statement at the moment that I can, uh... Here is what I'm thinking. ...really fault him for. It just looks like broken English at this point. Then dust off again, fly north, then fly over Juliet 13, or Kilo 13, 9, and then land. Squad 1 for the Canadians, Honestly, led by Utopian, like and really excellent Overwatch. Up, uh, looks like they are off. holding with Zaki up here, the remnants of his squad. Likely waiting on command's order to actually Three begin executing four. on this village. We I think the Canadians are likely getting repositioned in the west, at which point they will commence their assault. Hey, hey, break, break, mm. break. Enemy contact close, contact. Gulf 11, 5, 9. Close to my Bravo fire team up there. Copy that. Alright, so yeah, 3 and 4, we're going to cut a little bit further west than I thought. We're going to cut southwest. Silas, tell your Bravo fire team disengage. 
Uh, uh, they, they initiated the ambush. Uh, uh looked like we had two from militia the had, uh, yep. engaged the ambush, and, uh, to go with where yeah. too effective. Uh, it's a little too late. Ended up taking out five yeah, calf. Like... It's all good. We're going to go my brother team with you. Three, we are going cut here. I'll lead the way, but we are going to cut south. We're going to join Silas's main force, and we are going to maneuver more assets through, basically, like... Militia's southwestern north element, north element north led by Squad 6's Colty right. calling out contact. Um, yeah, they have we're contact within 100 meters or tighter on that western, of, on that western uh, road. Moving directly towards the enemy from this position, and come from a different direction. Golf 10 2 3 and Golf 10 6 3. Enemy contacts. Falling back. Copy that. That sounds about right. And it looks like we've got uh, Calf pulling across up mm, south or down south of the militia forces uh, where they had that ambu ambush at. Silas's crew pushing in. They're going to run into Culty. See if there's anything else. Doesn't look like it. I don't know, call me. I don't think you should have uh, called it as being a fast round. Things can get bogged down real fast. over for more uh, scouting. Oh, who's engaging? Is that Silas? Is that a uh, zero? Zero minus engaging. Uh, looks like Oddball's been spotted uphill. Yeah, we're engaging. Copy. Oddball trying to pull in somewhere. He's not going to get moving. shot we're at. Try and do a, a lateral move around Silas and company and keep moving south. Managed to get some bushes. Uh, okay. Leaving DT. Uh, uh, DT Crave status? up there on his own. We are engaging we are enemy from 400 meters out. Copy that. Yeah, command, you wanna find the move closer to him so it's much more effective? Um, yep, you have permission to move closer if it's more, uh, to where it's more effective, for sure. Okay. Command calling for Six to tighten the belt a little bit here, but Six informing command that he has some room to maneuver Copy and might one. be able to get the drop on the enemy. And has, uh, has granted him that wish. Looks like Six is going to try to rotate counterclockwise onto Squad 2 from the high ground. Yeah. Deckram, do you think you could do a flyover of the warehouse in Juliet 1294? Not like a fake landing or anything, Stand just by. like... Fly over it and see if you can see uh, any bad guys there. Yep. Maneuver. How uh, how dangerous do you want me to go for that? Uh, as dangerous as it needs to be for you to like, see if there's people there. If that's not of the dangerous, then that's got himself on an absolute... Uh, yes, absolute death march here, though. It looks like he's going to run into the majority of the enemy squad um, six, led by Rosa. Enemy oh, Kilo that would be command. Command is leading a uh, five-man element here in the Kilo south. They're going to be run up on. Right now. See who's, who's first. Copy. That's the hope. Three and four were in contact southeast of us. There's enemy infantry, apparently. One of your guys just called it. Shot 
Shots fired. These two elements are now engaging each other. That is a three-man militia element engaging a five-man Canadian team. One of the Canadians has gone down. That lemon sludge over here with that uh, attempted flanking maneuver from the uh, militia up south. Sending smoke southeast. Who's still alive? Yeah, Bravo, all of Bravo's up. We just lost one AR. We lost Breeze. Okay. Give me a second. How you guys doing on uh, meds? You guys good? You guys good? And Rosa doing a fantastic three, job there, taking route. out taking this route, just so I have one enemy of, contact. We've got Col Colty straight uphill from her. D, ND. Copy. Yeah, I got contacts close. I just dropped one less than five meters from my face. Yep. And for some reason, my camera decided to pop under uh, the map. They are south, southeast, more accurate. Oh, I'm going down. It's not going to go well for me. Bow is not in a good position Copy, here. Actually, land. no, Bow's fine, but Adela's got a horrible position on that hilltop there. We're taking fire from the south. Contact 151. And Colty taken out by Rosa. Not bad. And a lat attempt on Adala, but uh, hit the rock in front of him. Three, continue your course. Uh, Let's see if there's anything here. else. Need to just scope out these contacts. Copy. Yeah, just fall back behind me and Curry. We'll, we'll hold the point until maybe uh, sweeps through. Just yeah, don't I gotta heal myself. Yeah, yeah. Three, you're about to walk on top of a guy. We also have enemies. Yeah, militia now I'm very aware of at least one or two right. squads Copy. Uh, over here south of Oddball. It'd like also be uh, south of Guido. Also, I'm not moving. I will die. Hell yeah. Copy. Right, yeah, but they, they know I'm here. Copy, copy. Yeah, tell me what's good. I mean, you definitely have more. You know more shit than I do. So let's do it. Yeah, one. I mean, technically, we could My just chuck a grenade. To get we have Alda and Curry now playing peekaboo around weapon. the boulder. 15. Copy. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> what on I earth is Adela area. doing here in the pit? He just he found a little a crevice. Little head, but he's behind now. And then we've got okay, uh, Curry. Southeast, so watch your fire. Yeah. <laughs> on the wall of the rock. Right. What, really uh, what is going on? 15 meters, maybe less. He was right on the other side of the boulder. Um, I think uh, rule one of being militia is blend in with your terrain, be one with your terrain, and uh, like literally like he's right trying to do just that. If you proceed direct north, you'll, you'll hit him. Uh, merging his way into the rocks. Southeast, copy. Uh, guys, what's Squad 5, is there contact like between us and you? In front, like, um, wait. Wait, wait, let, let, let me change. Uh, so it's going to be direct south, Rosa. Yeah, like, uh, Han, if we, like, yeah, push more forwards. Forward, I don't, the right I don't side understand side how this is going on right now Copy. with uh, yeah, Adala and uh, Curry just and sitting we'll here sweep up on them. just a few feet from each other. Wait, well, my I'm gonna switch my view over to you, is. Phoenix, and uh, I'll just sit here and watch these two. It's kind yeah, of three Canadian forces have set up uh, set up shop yeah. in a really so nice residential right, neighborhood. Right, Unfortunately, they're right, absolutely surrounded by the militia. Right, we'll, uh, we'll have to see if the militia collapse or move on by them. Hmm. Oh my god, I saw you running back and I was about to shoot myself for a little bit. Alright, let's fall in behind. Uh, now it looks like uh, Dala is going to be the only one to survive out of that for the militia. Uh, Curry and his crew are slowly moving off. Canadians attempting to push out. One gets shot down in the street. Um, one I makes do. it out of the I, residential I, I... compound, but one is still remaining inside. Uh, we've got Flicker and Nightmare here. Back on the western side, Flicker shooting at militiamen uh, from inside a house, but he's got Nightmare uh, on the exterior, currently because pushing in. Copy. Copy. Pushing up the yeah, stairs and TV. gets and then, uh... Flicker. Yeah, moving that way. taken down in the middle of bandaging. And how they could, they have eyes on you are, but I do know last round we definitely would not have been able to defend against uh, forces in the east. Copy. Ops Kerr 
is in a precarious right, position four. here. Um, actually, let me quick uh, if I die, Silas is in charge. If he Silas moves dies, out in the open, he's gonna, gonna have, expose uh, himself to Silas. If Joe, he dies, then, and um, that's Silas is in a good position here. Um Juliet eleven one four moving northwest. Juliet eleven one four. Canadian command moving uh, moving their forces at speed along this MSR, trying to push in. Uh, looks like they've bypassed all the contact on the west and are beelining for their objective. So what's your situation? Are you guys I wouldn't like, say bypassed. Um, um, that small yeah, we're, detachment we're they had pushed up there to try and uh, get up behind the uh, CAF forces failed epically and just got caught by Rosa and her crew. That's fair. They they slaughtered right. a portion of them and, and passed the rest of them. Looks like three and six are still held out there, uh, doing their best to hold the western flank. I don't know what Adala is doing, but it seems to be working because Adala has somehow managed to come up on the rear of Silas, Silas and dead. terminate right, him. So the chain of uh, the downside is he does not see his buddy. Be uh, learn today he is going to possibly get then, a kill uh, on uh, Adala, depending on where he goes. Joe's in charge. If Joe dies, Zach is in charge. Maybe not. Dolly's really keeping in his blind dies, spot. In charge, then. I really gotta know. It's my brain's killing uh, me. When Zaki dies, so when Zaki dies, whichever one of your fire team leads has the loudest voice and the best ideas is in charge, and you can communicate that to them. Yeah, I'll as well, but, yeah. All right. So command said. That's that's when it becomes a power struggle, right? It's like the death of Stalin. Um, just and all you're the charge. all the underlings will fight for control. Roger that. All the underlings get to duke it out for command. All right, we chat three and four. What we're going to do is we're going to pre yeah, proceed along this road to Juliet 12-4. Then we are going to cut yeah, direct yeah, north. Thirst for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. We're actually... Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. still alive, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's going to make the most sense, I think. Right, yeah, Although they're yeah. probably going to occupy face, the bro. compound Juliet 12-8-6. <laughs> we'll have to be careful, but man. hopefully it works out. Yeah, that's fucking wild. That's why we swapped. A little bit of confusion going on in militia command comms. Uh, Looks like uh, below the SL level there were some blue on blue actions I mean, resulting in them calling enemy the contact you know, inside their line. Oh yeah, that's uh, uh, was that down by the river? That was oh, in Juliet 1114, roughly. Uh, yeah, command, I think uh, yeah, that was definitely down by the river. Ooh, yeah, I was wondering why they were shooting. There was nothing around them. Yep, sounds good. You're authorized to authorized maneuver, Zaki. Oh, we've got some uh, call out here. Shine, Toots says uh, Koba uh, just uh, killed Frost. Shot, um, we're squad, team killed him. We're going to be moving up to squad four and three. That is a three man Talk team. All right. It's probably going to um, impact yeah, Koba in negative ways. It's tough to participate in a blue like on blue. Yeah, no, definitely not. We have definitely a spot not. of luck, which is that that fucking Canadian oil, whatever the fuck down there, the warehouse, appears to be unoccupied. That's fine. We can probably patent a. Uh, um, to maneuver Guilt through counseling. that directly down on top of the enemy below. For uh, squad Which ops. I'm all for it. Ops skills counseling. That is the, that is the I yeah. believe, first part of this operational plan. That has Commit not blue on blue. Charlie will hold up totally ahead. blown up in my It's face. okay. Which We've got that? you handled. Do you, want, uh, do you want squad four's buddy team basically to go scope it out? Um, let's see. We've been fighting for around 30 minutes now, so I think... Based on the fact that I can glass this whole area and not see a tango at all, we should be good to just proceed down, stage up along the red line. An interesting line, one, one and for you here, Killer. Squad 3's Guido just called out a fire team sized element those hauling ass now, moving west to east. Looks like he has eyes on Texas Youngin. So that's going to be pretty grim. He believes he's likely only called out a fire team, but he's inadvertently probably Trudeau. called out the entire enemy and platoon's location here. That. that is the downside. Uh, if uh, if one so person gets spotted, even if they are expecting like a small buddy team. 
Never that's sure still gonna time, affect like the whole group that you're moving I'm with. Trying to talk in this yep. Yeah, Yeah, Bush Command just called out they expect the full brunt of the enemy forces to approach from the south, which is exactly what is occurring right now. Yep, that is, that is unfortunate for them. And we can, and you can cover us when, uh, yeah. Oh, one, I see you've made it across on the east, by the way. Very good. Honestly, we should probably uh, check 65. We should probably, for squad ops, have a uh, calendar thing. This amount of days without team kills. I don't want to be responsible for updating that. <laughs> oh, come on. I warned them. They're coming from that Copy city, both. coming towards this position. All right, two, yeah, Canadians have successfully set up Overwatch uh, on the, uh, but, okay, they're coming towards the Julia 12 towards warehouse facility. Their I like, no towards, militia uh, in there at this I time. I'm sure once they deem it clear, they'll start towards, turning yeah. their counterclockwise yeah. rotation onto the point. Intercept. Um, 3 and 4, I want you to expedite your movement north uh, and get ready to engage if they are stupid enough to walk right up on top of us. Ah, we've just uh, been unlucky, Call. We have been the unlucky uh, stream of the night that has somehow garnered the attention of a uh, random troll. It happens. Militia forces now in uh, full react mode here. They're fully aware of where the Canadians are pushing in. They've just called out the Julia 12-9 warehouse factory location and as you can see the militia are now starting to pull most of their forces in to envelop that location what they They're don't know the is all of the canadians that have made their way across the river on the east yeah that's canadians being shot in the open just south of the warehouse as well while they're on approach this is yeah, that is Koba or Laundry. That... Koba needs to stay safe oh, so we can detonate that IED ball. later. I don't know what it yeah, if Koba dies, yeah, Koba dies, and that's just the lost IED chance right there. I have eyes on contacts, uh, 6, J12, dash. Uh, dash it looks like we get a contact call for Juliet 612. Koba has been shot. This man is Three playing with down. absolute fire. Hand hands down. Six, I think that was wrong. That should have been Juliet 12 6. Contacts northeast of command. Taking extra shots and going down. Which would have been, uh. So repeat. Tate Dog. Tate Dog taking a slap Copy. to the butt. Uh, let's see here. Who, who did that? Was that Bow or uh, Nashville? Probably got him. He's still up and running, but he's hurt. Yeah, Rosa definitely lost all that, uh, that element of surprise with that call out. I think they would have been good if they hadn't get, hadn't been spotted. Not to say their positioning right now isn't horrible. They have got a pretty good spot here to, uh, neutralize the building they're going after. Killer, I'm gonna need you to give me a flag and a bugle. Uh, We're gonna be pushing north, uh, left, left to uh, on these guys. Oh Pressure no! Like I don't have flag and bugle, so um, I'm I'll gonna need you to do that yourself. This man is gonna be buried amongst the mangroves with his uh, with his detonator device as well as his AK. Ah yes, can I get some rips also for a bow? Bow just got knocked out. Poor bow. Didn't even make it to a last stand. Command is three down. One effective. I've got contacts close to my north. Contact close north, copy. They're uh, taking shots in the south. building. Alright, uh, we guys and left the squad. Calf is slowly uh, what, uh, what size of enemy are you guys facing? losing players here. Um, this is not good. I'm pretty sure it's squad. Yeah, militia fire squad three successfully team, broken uh, through what was um, the Canadian line. It looks like. Uh, I mean, of course, you got Alpha and Nightmare in the same squad. That's just not fair. Copy. Um, four link up with us. Three Both aggressive players, to be sure. Yes, most definitely. Alpha, who just up loves up running forward. forward without anyone. Yes, uh, regroup and push us a line. It looks like he brought friends of time. We're making progress. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's yeah. attending the ops counseling. He understand. Or, or, or he's found enablers that just join him. Enablers. Shit, you might be right. 
Yeah. We have contact close west to our position. Yeah, it's like uh, Canadians that have about west nine west individuals off 12, east of the point. Juliet, They've got about 12. half of that to the south and maybe another half of that to the west. I don't want to call them scattered in the wind. Perhaps they just have the militia surrounded. Maybe, or the militia have them surrounded and they just haven't realized it yet. Surrounded from the inside. Yep. Run. Yeah, we spot for the outside, dude. There's enemy contact to our. And it looks like Elk Nerd and Bong are trying to get away from the militia forces pushing uh, along the south end. Um, take it slow. Push slowly. I'm gonna flank around to the north side. Yeah, try they're to probably gonna pull a bus uh, driver man stand down with them. Yeah, Canadian forces haul assing off the mountain, throwing smoke as they move. I think they're just trying to create as much distance as they can from whatever that spearhead was that just cut them off from all of their friends in the west. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That spearhead is gonna turn here real soon and if they don't get off that hillside they are gonna get spotted horribly by alpha yeah a lot of grass bong. not a lot of trees on this hill i yeah, will be going down in over. a second uh we have contacts all around us they're pushing mostly from the west of us though copy could you relay to your guys try to regroup with squad four bongs in view of good job. bongs in view of alpha alpha lining up the shot oh, shit. it's taken oh, shit. Bong's tag. Oh, Bong! Yeah, Did not make it. Jumping. Yeah. So this is the reason why you lid. don't jump in squad. It does not help you. Five <laughs> Ds of dodgeball do not include jumping. Not at all. No. I was saying earlier, militia command. Uh, Schmidt doing a really good job of organizing his SLs, letting his Twitch SLs know where they need to be. Looks like he's gonna yeah. have Thick hold to the south, two and three holding south. He's pulled four to the north. What I'm trying to figure out here is how did trench coat get so close to the uh, northern, northwestern uh, militia group alone? Unless uh, unless his buddies died around him, I just didn't see it. I, be I do believe there were more infantry there at one uh, point. Uh, one of four heavily, heavily dug in there. Perhaps that's what happened. Position. Call me. That's just dumb luck. That doesn't mean anything. Escaping APC bullets is uh. Eh. APC bullets, uh, they know where you live. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's four. Disregard, that's four. They especially know where you live if you're in a wood building. Lawn darts pushing up where, uh, Bal's crew used to be. Going down here. Copy. Uh, it sounds like five was going to go down. I don't know where he was. Oh, Zachy back here. Why is there a radio down back here for militia? By Zaki. What grid are we talking about? Uh, we are talking... Uh, grid... Hotel 10... 6-4. No, Blua, we do not run ops with optics. What do you think we are, futuristic? Also, that wasn't, that was not really a joke that we don't usually run our ops with optics. We try to keep uh, the balancing of each side as close as possible. So there's no unfair advantage. Jeff having experience with another blue on blue there. Looks like there's a little bit to go all around today. Uh, oh boy. Looks like that was. That was unfortunately a squad on squad blue as well. Are you guys shooting at us? No, we're shooting uh, southwest, I think. 
Southwest. I think I'm in the middle of that blue on blue shooting here. Yes. <laughs> they are all sorts of confused. Nashville is dead. Taken out by Real. Real's trying to take out, uh, let's see here, Dark Four Hounds. No, Dark Hounds. Dark Hounds taken out, finally. Lawn Darts has been killed. I'm not sure who got him. I think that was Utopian. I'm gonna smoke this up. Smoke going out. Nade in. Almost took out Zahi. Or Zahiha. Ah, freck, I can't even pronounce his name. The yeah, line's incredibly mixed here. There might not have even been a blue on blue. It might have just been. I've just been shots going over each other's shoulders. Oh, Utopian taken out from downhill. Possibly Nightmare or Bob Ross. It'd be kind of sad if it was Bob Ross, but it also makes sense. The man did not like shot. humanity. Just uh, shot while advised, healing. That's always a rough way to go. Looks down. like that, that might oh, have yeah. been Nightmare or Bob Ross who engaged him there through the through the smoke, the hills, the trees. That was a good shot. Um. Yeah, generally when we hear optics, we uh. We're thinking zoom and whatnot, but no. When we when we say no optics, we're just talking. There's uh, one times, no two times, no six times, no twelve times, no ridiculous twenty four times. Just you know, standard down down iron sight type uh, visual. Bob Ross might get a peel here on uh, 61. Militia have successfully disengaged, skirting the contact to their southwest as they uh, they rotate around to the. I guess we'd call this the outbuilding for the bridge. Hey, Nacho, if you're in game, it's shift P for spectate. And Aiden taken out. Fantastically by 61. Bob Ross made it inside the uh, last ditch tower. Do we need to regroup? Because. Uh... And Shugart questioning whether or not they should regroup over command, so. Yeah, one. I don't think there's really anything you can, else. You can, you can They've got, what, one or two more? Yeah, we're gonna up. Try to order. yeah, we've got. Who is that up there? Is that uh... Oh shoot, come on. Squad 5 with Orc and Zaki coming up on the rear of Squad 6 for the militia. Not sure what his plan is. Squad 1 for the Canadians, the led by Shook, currently found it away from what previously looked uh, like their the objective. Buildings. To see what their, are, uh, their new objective is. Out. Militia look like they have about twice as many personnel on the field right now, compared to the Canadians. Copy. For one, if you can disengage successfully, try to go uh, south, try to get into advantage covers while we dig down the second rope block. Copy that, moving south. And it looks like they're still continuing to try and dig down the roadblocks uh, down south somewhere. Not sure where. Moving over to Zaki right now. Let's see what's going on here. 
Uh, looks like we finally got a timer. Calf has seven minutes to take. Uh, Indigo, eleven nine. Indigo killer. I think we discussed renaming the whole NATO alphabet. I hate, I hate the other way. So Indigo. Look, if it, it starts with the letter and I can actually remember it, then it's it's getting placed there. You can figure it out from there. <laughs> the sad part is I'm I have done. a printout sheet laying in front of me with them, too. I'm sure it says Indigo. That's fine. That's the right answer. No, it, no. Now you make me question myself. Uh, I guess it's not indigo, it's itch. Ooh, oddball Plus takes oddball, out. Yeah. Ooh, that is just unfortunate. Contact 20 meter close to us to our east side. That was a good reactive contact by oddball. Spotted him, engaged very oh, yeah. quickly. Knocked him out. Uh, was that Zaki taking shots at Oddball, or was that another attempted blue on blue? Because I did not see Zaki fire, and there is no one downhill from them for uh, Calf. So I don't know who's shooting at Oddball. Oh, wow, that is... There were other individuals there with Saki at one point, I think, at least two of what them. What the hell is going on right now? I have got a 100% packet loss. Yeah, I may have just lost connection to the uh, server. You know, unfortunately, it's looking like it's uh, wider spread than you, sir. Okay, uh, we are going to... Give me a second here, guys. All right, we have moved over to the AFK screen temporarily. Um, it looks like the op server may or may not have uh, had a epic failure. So give us one moment and we will be right back. All right, so. We were so close to the end there, they're just going to call it. It was a five-man against the platoon. The uh, outcomes were pretty much known. Um, so with that, I'll be going over the calendar, and then we'll be signing off for the night.